Hi guys, Dr. Burke here. In this video, we're gonna answer another good question that someone had, and they called in and they wanted to know, Dr. Burke, I have normal blood sugars, yet I have a lot of symptoms of insulin resistance. How can that be? Okay, so I'm gonna answer that question in my new book, the new uh, body type guide, okay? This is on page 153. Check this out. When you go to the doctor, he or she will test blood sugars, right? But do they ever test insulin levels? Testing fasting insulin levels will give some deeper insights on really what's going on, okay? So really, for someone to have an alteration in actual blood sugars, which is prediabetes or diabetes, okay, that's later on the chain of events because insulin resistance turning into diabetes could take 10 years. The first thing that happens is insulin resistance, which your insulin is being resistive, and then the insulin doesn't go in the cell, and then it sends another signal back to the pancreas, and the pancreas starts making more and more insulin, okay? But normal blood sugars, okay? So if you really want to find out uh, if you're in this stage right here, which is like the pre-pre-diabetes, all you do is you ask your doctor to do a fasting insulin test, not a fasting glucose test. Okay, they're gonna measure the actual fasting insulin, what it's doing. And if it's higher than normal, then we know you have insulin resistance, okay? Very, very simple. And if you have that, just you just do what I talk about in this book, okay? So anyway, great question. Thanks for asking that, and I hope that helped. Hey, you probably already subscribed, but if you haven't, press this little button down below, and I will keep you updated.